Hello Scorpios, welcome to your general reading for the month of September 2020. If you are a Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, this is your reading. Okay, these are very general. They're not going to resonate with all of you. My links are down below. This is whatever I see, whatever I get. This is just general. They could be anything I tell you could apply to family, friends, job, business, whatever, relationships, etc. Okay, so um, I already pre-shuffled. Okay, I'm using my Lenormand, another one. I have like I don't know, like eight Lenormand decks. So, all right. So what I see around you, Scorpio, is the first thing I'm picking up here is the pressure to suppress something, um, like hide something. I don't see, mm, I mean, it could be secrets. It could be just not wanting. I kind of saw that in the Love Life video, but I saw that on the person's left. I mean, the, the person on the right. So maybe that's you. Hmm. Anyway, um, I do see some sort of upsetting news for some, and for others, there's a lot of changes, but there's, I feel like there's a strong putting a stop to something, okay? Um, I, I really see that putting a stop to something. Remember these words also, letting go allows change to happen, okay? You know, it's weird, that's a very death card slash Scorpio type energy, isn't it? Because Scorpio is the sign of, I mean, the death card, you know, is related to the sign Scorpio, and you are a Scorpio. Um, so powerful knowledge also surrounds you this month. Um, as the saying goes, always, uh, you know, knowledge is power. Yep, yep, yep. There could also be um, protecting a secret. So like I said, there's either a suppressing something, putting a stop to something. Maybe what some of you are going through is trying to protect, uh, maybe it's a reputation, although I don't have a, like reputation type of cards, but it could be anything protecting, you know, just something you don't want to get around or something you don't want people to know about. Um, hey, it could be a HIPAA violation, right? Right. Um, it, whatever it is, you're trying to protect some kind of information or knowledge. Maybe, maybe it's not a secret, you know, because what also I get here is could be like trademarking something or patenting something like it's only yours. Like, like, no, I'm, you know, it's not to sue anybody. It's just protect. Maybe some of you are getting an LLC, for example. Okay. Or an assumed name. Hey, maybe you're going to file your birth name as an assumed name certificate. I've done that. Yes. It, a lot of benefits with doing that. Um, well, you know, what I also get is I'm picking up a teacher or mentor around you. Okay. Someone that guides you. Maybe you're going to school. It's like learning something or being uh, taught a new skill. Some, some of you might be taking lessons or classes this month, okay? Education is strongly around you this month. Um, for others, there's this pressure to know something or learn something new. And again, that kind of comes, comes with what I just said about learning something, a new skill. But I see a powerful urge to really look into information. It's like needing to know something. Like your mind is highly expanding, yeah. For some, I see a, um, how do I say this? This may not make sense, but this is what I'm getting. Changing the truth. That's what I'm actually hearing, if that makes sense. Changing the truth. I don't know if this is re uh, rearranging a lie that was told, like lying, like needing to make up something to back up a lie. Not that I see lies in this reading though, but let's just say, okay. Uh, if you write books or you are a blogger, for example, there is a lot of last minute editing. I do see this. Um, or rewriting the story. Maybe that's what it is, like changing the truth. Maybe it's rewriting a story. Maybe you're editing an article. Uh, maybe you're in journalism. You're a journalist. Um, rewriting the news if you work for newscasting or a sudden. There's like a sudden twist or plot. Like you want to, like an, something about an alternate ending. If you are a producer or you make movies or maybe you're a songwriter, whatever you do, maybe you're famous. Uh, director, you're, you know, and you're, you're trying, you're trying to add an alternate ending or change the whole, like, you know what, we're going to do it this way. It's not going to end that way, that kind of thing. But it, I feel like it's last minute. And I know that probably happens anyway, because it's like, sometimes like I'm almost done with the book, but I feel like it's something there was, it, whether you write books or not, whatever you do, there's like this changing of, you're almost finished with, with whatever it is. And then you go, okay, I'm going to go ahead and change that. That's the energy I'm getting, if that makes sense. Sorry if it doesn't make sense, but I don't make sense all the time. For some, this could be like, like I said, making up the past of what really happened. I don't know if this has to do with, if you look up the law of attraction, there's a lot of information about scripting, like rewriting your story, like rewriting how you want your future to be instead of, no, this is not going to be my reality. No, I'm going to write it this way. 
that's maybe what some of you are doing if you're not in the business of writing books or an ebook, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, but whatever it is, it, you know, however that makes sense. Maybe that happens. Maybe somebody you know does that. <clears throat> I do see a lot of needing to spend time alone with yourself. Okay. Um, like I said, there's a lot of introvert, uh, or I saw that you're reading and that's crazy. Okay. That's why I'm like, wait a minute. I, I didn't say that yet, but I did in the love reading. <laughs> so there is a time of solitude and introspection. Okay. With the tower card being here. Um, I also see you, you go from being, or maybe somebody around you does. It's like you go from being closed off from someone or something to suddenly opening up to the idea of it or opening up to others, right? Or in general, right? Some kind of, I don't know what it is, but I wanna say there's a lot of mysterious energy around you this month. Like, I don't know if you wanna remain mysterious or you just don't feel like, I kinda of saw the same thing in Libras a little bit, but regardless, there's, I will say this, there's a lot of self-discipline and needing to recharge, oh yeah, okay? Um, and I see you really being disciplined with whatever it is that you have your met, your mindset on, okay? Um, I pick up, I'm hearing, um, this is weird, I'm hearing extreme intellect. I don't know why I heard that, I'm hearing that. Um, no, I'm not seeing that, but maybe, or the, books, the book can actually be intellectual, like analytical, uh, you know, thinking with your head, not your heart. Uh, but I'm, I'm hearing extreme intellect, I don't know, okay. Um, around the third week or the middle of the month, I am seeing happy family, some kind of family reunion or a sense of happiness and joy in the home with the sun in the house. Um, perhaps for some, you there's like buying or a selling of a home, although I don't have a money card here, but I feel like if you are buying or renting or selling your home, I think things go, things go really well. I think it will go well. But for some, this is what I'm also getting. This house was passed down to you from a family member or like a parent or grandparent, someone in the family, maybe it's an aunt, uncle, um, like there could be a will or some kind of inheritance but here's another twist i'm actually seeing for a few of you that you didn't know about this like maybe this is a grandparent that died like a few decades ago or like a, like years ago and you didn't all this time something was supposed to be yours maybe it's not a house but something was most meant to be yours and you just find that out this month i'm getting that too i mean it may not resonate with that many of you but that's what i get but there's some kind of like will or inheritance maybe but it does look positive okay um, I also see something about family traditions, like positive stuff, like maybe starting a tradition or trying to go back to an old way of doing things. So maybe it's not a family tradition, but you kind of, well, maybe it is like, you know, you could be single. You're just like, I'm going to start doing this. You know, I'm going to start doing this the way the people did it in the past. Like, like going back to basics kind of thing, which I know that's pretty popular with people wanting to use natural remedies these days, uh, eat healthier, grow their own food, you know, live more simple life, you know, uh, moving to the country, <laughs> gonna eat a lot of peaches, you know. So towards the end of the month though, there with the bear in the coffin, um, sometimes this is a, a loss that has a major impact or a loss of a leader, like either someone who guided you, they don't anymore, but it could be that you just don't need, like like you graduated from something. Like, okay, I'm now, um, or stepping down from a position of power. Like now I'm gonna give this to so-and-so or someone, I feel like someone does it for you though. Like someone steps down and you take over. Does that make sense? Like for example, a manager retires and maybe they go, hey, I'm gonna have you be in charge now. I want you to take over. I want you to own this. Maybe someone's gonna give you a business. Um, maybe that's why I was seeing inheritance. For others though, um, one of the sad parts, I'm, I'm just saying this, I'm not saying to, this to scare anybody, but sometimes the bear and coffin can also mean a loss of power or a feeling as if you don't have the upper hand as you once thought. All right, and that might disappoint some of you. But the other thing I was gonna say is when the bear is close to the coffin and the house, sometimes this is a death in the family, but with the, but, but with the sun near these three, it's more like a death that was expected and more of a relief. Not saying, oh, haha, I'm glad they're, you know, I'm not saying that. I'm serious. I'm not trying to be funny. I'm just saying that it was expected like, oh, okay, they're not suffering anymore. You know, maybe this was, um, or, or, oh, okay, now grandma's with grandpa again or, or vice versa. Like now they're together, even though it's still sad. And I do, I am sorry if some of you experience that this month. But it's not always a death though. That might just be only for a few of you, okay? Um, that's just one of the meanings. Now, what this can also mean is not a death, like a physical death, but a family member has you, like I was talking about, they, they kind of ask you to take something over for them, all right? Like I also see, um, this is gonna be 
weird, but let's say like breaking the rules and making your own rules. <laughs> Let me see what else I get here. All right, so the sun is diagonal from the coffin, right? Okay, so this does show a happy ending of some kind where that grief and sadness is over. Like it's now over, right? You feel more in control now, whatever it's about, right? Um, or that letting go ultimately brings peace and harmony, okay? So I do see more of a happy ending for you. But anyway, that's what I have for you, Scorpio. I hope you enjoyed your general reading. And sorry if it doesn't resonate. It is, we are at the very beginning of the month still. So, you know, any of these things can happen. But thank you for watching. I will see you guys on my next video.